<laughs> Hi. Hi. So we have a rather entertaining rant for you this time around. It's something I'm very surprised we have not touched up on. I, I feel dumb. Yeah, this is something we very seriously should have touched up on earlier in the videos a lot earlier. Like years ago. But we didn't, and we don't know why. But before we get into it, we're going to give my friend Dominic a shout out for giving us the idea, as well as making this hysterical meme of us. Look at it. It's actually rather funny. I thought it was hilarious when he sent it to me. Nate here didn't know what to think about it. Oh my god. And see, Dominic, just to let you know, you were right here. Right here. In spirit, buddy. Right here. Okay, so... <laughs> Okay, let's let's start this. Okay. Hold on a minute. What he, what could he be doing? Just to make this rant more appropriate, more professional, so to speak. This for the great. topic we're going to be destroying this time around, <laughs> I looked up the definitions. Appropriate definitions. <laughs> and it's great. If you're wondering what it's about, I'll give you a clue. Why are you trying to copy my swag, man? Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay. <laughs> this is great. Okay. People by now should know that swag, oh God, I feel retarded saying it, has become a very, very popular form of saying somebody is cool or something stupid amongst that. When in actuality, the actual word swag is this. An ornamental festoon of flowers, fruit, and greenery. That's the noun. You want the verb? Here we go. Arrange in or decorate with a swag or swags of fabric. So allow me to steal a line from the Avengers. Doth mother know you weareth her drapes? <laughs> So if somebody comes to me, why are you trying to steal my swag? Like, I'm not trying to steal your flowers or fabric, dipshit. I'm not trying to steal anything. <laughs> oh, God. And before you call us retarded... <laughs> Look we, it up. <laughs> we do know that swag is just short for swagger. But we just gave you the actual definition for swag. Now, the actual definition for swagger this is... This is going to be a kick in the teeth. Walk or behave in a very confident or typically arrogant or aggressive gait or manner. Okay. <clears throat> that makes sense. But to shorten it to a word that already existed and meant something else entirely doesn't make us the retarded ones. No, it don't. It really don't. So, the cough. For random people who use this word, including a lovely, lovely singer by the name of Justin Bieber who uses it. Oh. Before oh, you use God. words like this, please look up the definition and ornamental festoon of flowers and fruit or greenery. Nobody's trying to copy your flowers, bud. Seriously, people. This, in my opinion, is a very big fail for lingo these days. People try to make these words to make to sound cool or to shorten them to make a different word for whatever meaning they're after. Let's go down the proverbial list of uh, of uh, rappers, artists around the world that we know that are popular today that have used this word in their song lyrics or in interviews or whatever. First one I can name off, Lil Wayne. Second one I can name off is that one bitch from Black Eyed Peas, which I can't even remember her name. Fergie. Oh, that's... Is she the one that looks like she got hit in the face with a shovel? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Um, of course, uh, Canadian Bacon... Justin Bieber, and a few other people that are meaningless. Okay, we're not we're not necessarily trashing these artists, but we are degrading the fact that the word is being used. Yeah. Because we have the actual definition right here. And 
now that she, and now that we know this, it, it, <laughs> huh. why? It's seriously, why? Why is it so cool to use tag nowadays? I mean, it's everywhere on t-shirts, on billboards, on video games, on in music everywhere. I mean, it's retarded when people should look up the freaking definition and be like, oh, that's I, what it means. I, I've been talking about a festive, or a, an ornamental festoon of flowers, and fruit, and, and greenery. Green. So we're gardening? Apparently somebody's trying to copy somebody else's gardening. Man, you trying to copy my gardening? No, oh, man. I don't mean to, I don't mean to step on your gardening style. My roses are fucking sexy. <laughs> uh, they are quite sexy. If you eat another one of my pears, I will kick you in the taint. See, lay your hands off my damn apples. Hey, hey, hey. Don't even touch my bananas. Yo, I'm delicious. <laughs> anyway, anyway, um, really people swag. Gardening skills. Rich people who have employed other people to take care of their lawn and bushes and hedges and flowers and other various of sorts of greenery swag. Duh! I bet anybody who's watching this video who has actually used the term not knowing what it actually means feels intelligent right now. Do you feel intelligent? Do you feel smart? Do you? Do you think you have a high vernacular? For the word, uh, for the record, that word, vernacular, is vocabulary. Vocabulary. Oh boy, here we go. Topic number two. Boy, oh boy. This gets me started on the fact that. In America, I don't know about other countries because I don't keep up with America. I don't keep up with America. Um, other countries, mahogany. <laughs> because other countries do not interest me unless I plan on visiting them someday. Like Germany. German flag, yes, happen. Uh, mahogany. Especially when, I uh, don't mean to interrupt you, but this is totally off topic. I kind of figured that you would like to know this, and the people watching the video would like to know this. Um, Obama went to Mexico and apologized to the Mexicans for America kicking them out. Is it just me? Or does Obama's skin look like mahogany? Hug bees. Yeah. Mahogany. Mahogany. Okay, so <laughs> back on the topic of what oh, I was getting on to. It seems like every day the intelligence of the average American goes from here to here to here to here. And eventually we're going to be back to Neanderthal stage. But see, here's the bad part. People nowadays really don't have a very high vocabulary. But we sure as hell know how to work a computer and iPhone. Yeah, that, that's what really gets me. You see, the, um, the intelligence of the government seems to be going up. Yeah. But the intelligence of the modern man going down. While we have all this technology, we have computers, we have tablets, we have smartphones, we have all this stuff that should be able to help us gain intelligence. Instead, it's a reverse fucking thing going on here. Uh, really, the billboard is going down, and the more it goes down, the dumber we are. The dumber we are, the richer they are. Oh, yeah. So, stop playing your angry birds and your tiny castles and all of this other dumb shit, and download the Webster's Dictionary. What's really... What is really hurting us, what's really hurting America, I should say, is this text lingo, which seems to have gone from cell phones to speech. LOL. Billy Gaff. 
Yellow. I will kill you. Ah! My nipple. That was a yellow moment. Oh my god. <laughs> yellow. Mm, god. No. Stop. Ah! Yellow? <laughs> okay. When it comes to text lingo and all this crap, it's starting to go into music as well. Yeah. And YOLO is a very big example of this. Yeah. It stands for you only live once. I only know this because I know a lot of people that are in their teenage years and they will listen to this crap on and on and on. And it took me literally asking one of them, what the hell does this mean for me to actually know? You only live once. Well, no shit. See, here's the thing, alright? The people that use the word YOLO are the same people that have problem, that have problems with other people co uh, uh, copying their roses, hedges, and, and, and apples, and pears, <laughs> and grapes. If you don't want to know what I'm talking about, see swag. swag. See page 54 for swag. Really, my page 54 is just yeah, whatever. It's on the video. But, uh, really. Why? Eh. Seriously, YOLO? It's everywhere now, too. That and swag. Uh, uh, okay, uh, see, I wear glasses, okay? Um, see, the people that, you, uh, that use the word swag where it, uh, their pants look like they went into their little sister's closet and stole a pair of jeans. And it comes up to the crotch oh and, no, and no higher. Oh they tuck their shirt in underneath their underwear to, their, uh, to the point to where their boxers are hanging out. They're wearing these retarded glasses with the white tape in the middle that you see in the night uh, in like the 19... 80, uh, 80s AV Club films. What the hell? And they're riding on skateboards and they're really not even good. They're giving skateboarders a bad look now. And they're also formed to scene kids. Scene kids! No, no, no. They're not skateboarders anymore. They're scene boarders. I think I just had a brain aneurysm <laughs> think from about all the it. stupidity. While they won't call themselves scene boarders, think about it. It was the scene kids that started that type of dress, that started the really tight jeans, the really tight shirt. It, it, yeah, the idiotic hairdos. Could you imagine him wearing a beanie? Hang on, get to the side for a second. And he's only wearing the beanie from here up. Nowhere else. It looks retorted, and the gauges plumb out to your uh, plumb out to your collarbone. It's like you trying to cut the wood. Okay, see the people that use the uh, they use the word swag and yolo that ride the skateboards with the glasses and the retarded chain, and the hair dude that's like uh, it's braided here and it's like cone shape up here. They call themselves gangsters. Okay, if you really want to know who a true gangster is, look up. Al Capone. Al Capone and that generation. Uh, watch, the, uh, watch the movie New York Gangsters. Watch, uh, those are some real OGs. If you don't know what an OG is, you're too young. Okay. OG translates into an original gangster. All right, the people then, the rappers then, like Dr. Dre, um, uh, Tupac. Huh? Tupac. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Dr. Dre, Tupac Shakur, Biggie Smalls, um, Puff Daddy, then. Um, Back before he became Diddy. Sounds like something that you see in the bottom of a toilet. Doesn't it? It does. It really does. I'm going to go take a Diddy. <laughs> Mine's thinking there afterwards. Yeah. It might look like Diddy, too. Mm. Yeah, we're Abe Lincoln. Don't forget to flush that ditty. No, of course. Um, the gangsters then, the dead gangsters then, are probably rolling over there, uh, rolling over in their fucking graves now. 
because of all of the stupid people. The Black Eyed Peas then, they were good. Fergie then, when she really didn't show her face and just sung, she was good. Just saying. Okay, so we've covered the topics for this video. Swag, YOLO, terrible vocabulary, terrible grammar. I should have thrown that in there, but uh. no. But we have these, and oh my god, people, seriously, there's a dictionary. What the fuck? They're constantly, constantly on the internet because the smartphones and the tablets, 3G, all that crap. You're constantly on the internet. Yeah. So why not look up definitions for words that you use? Ever thought about that? No, because your vernacular is not that great. Well, neither are their intelligence. So. But we're going to end this video with that. Remember, if you try to copy my swag, my flower will kill you. So will his, and so will my gardener. He has a Mexican gardener. Works two dollars an hour. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. From uh, Turkey. Yeah. Makes no sense, but it it works. The, yeah, it, that makes as much sense as swag. Mahogany. Trying to copy my mahogany now. Can't help it. I like Obama's skin. <laughs> Why?